द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इन टू एन अटोमिक पावर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट्स ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी इट मार्क द बिगेनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू एरा इन ग्लोबल पॉलिटिक्स वॉरफेयर एंड साइंस द पास टू बिकमिंग एन अटोमिक पावर वॉज नॉट सडन इट इन्वॉल्व द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ विजनरी थिंकिंग स्ट्रेटेजिक प्लानिंग साइंटिफिक ब्रेक थ्रूस एंड इंटेंस एग्जीक्यूशन अंडर द प्रेशर ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर टू The journey toward atomic power began with theoretical physics. In the early 20th century, scientists like Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, and Enrico Fermi laid the groundwork for nuclear science. Einstein's famous equation E is equal to mc square suggested that mass could be converted into energy, a principle that would later become central to nuclear fission. The discovery of nuclear fission by German scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Stratzmann in 1938 showed that splitting uranium atoms released tremendous energy this discovery raised the possibility of an immensely powerful bomb in 1939 alarmed by the potential of nazi germany in building such a weapon einstein and physicist leo szilard wrote a letter to us president franklin d roosevelt urging him to begin nuclear research following einstein's letter roosevelt responded by forming the advisory committee on uranium in October 1939 this committee explored the feasibility of nuclear weapons and began funding research into uranium enrichment and nuclear chain reactions however as world war 2 escalated and the fear of a german atomic bomb intensified the us began to take the matter more seriously in 1941 the office of scientific research and development osrd was established the osrd took over the atomic research program and began organizing a more structured approach scientists from top us universities including harvard princeton and the university of california were brought into the fold in 1942 the us government launched a top secret operation known as the manhattan project with the goal of developing an atomic bomb before germany the project was named after the manhattan engineering district of the us army corps of engineers general leslie groves was appointed to oversee the military aspects and physicist j robert oppenheimer was selected to lead the scientific research it was a massive undertaking involving over 130000 people and costing nearly 2 billion dollars key research and production sites were established across the us including los alamos laboratory in new mexico for bomb design and assembly oak ridge tennessee for uranium enrichment hanford site in washington state for plutonium production the manhattan project was a remarkable scientific and engineering achievement two primary paths to an atomic bomb were pursued one using uranium 235 and the other using plutonium 239 uranium 235 is rare and difficult to isolate while plutonium 239 is created through the irradiation of uranium 238 in nuclear reactors at oak ridge scientists used methods like gaseous diffusion and electromagnetic separation to enrich uranium 235 meanwhile reactors at hanford produced plutonium 239 which was then chemically separated at los alamos oppenheimer and his team designed two types of bombs little boy a uranium based bomb using a gun type mechanism and fat man a plutonium based bomb using implosion on july 16 1945 the first ever atomic bomb was detonated in the trinity test at Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. The successful explosion validated the feasibility of nuclear weapons and demonstrated the power of the technology. The mushroom cloud rose over 40,000 feet and the force of the blast turned sand into glass. The success of the Trinity test gave the US leadership the confidence to use atomic bombs to end the war with Japan. Less than a month after the Trinity test on August 6, 1945, the US dropped the little boy bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. 3 days later, on August 9, the Fat Man bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. The bombings caused massive destruction and loss of life. Over 200,000 people died, many from radiation exposure. The shock and devastation led to Japan's unconditional surrender on August 15, 1945, effectively ending World War II. Following the war, the US maintained its nuclear monopoly until the Soviet Union tested its first atomic bomb in 1949. This began the nuclear arms race during the Cold War, with the US and USSR building vast arsenals 
of increasingly powerful weapons. While the US became a superpower through atomic technology, it also faced deep ethical and strategic challenges. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki sparked debates about the morality of using such weapons. Despite the concerns, the US continued to lead in nuclear research, advancing technologies like hydrogen bombs, nuclear submarines, and missile defense systems. Although United States atomic power discovery brought an end to World War II, it also introduced the world to the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons and the responsibility that comes with possessing them. The legacy of America's rise as an atomic power continues to shape international relations and scientific ethics to this day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.